I greet you all in that precious and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I trust that you are well kept of the Lord. I want to share with you something for your thoughts and consideration. What I have entitled weariness and rest. Every one of us, if you are doing anything significant with your life, you will experience weariness. By weariness, I just basically means tiredness and exha exhaustion or sometimes bouts of uh, feeling you're burnt out or worn out, feeling like you have been spent and you feel like uh, sometimes you're running on fumes. Every one of us, if you are doing anything significant, something that is worth your time, something that is making your difference, I guarantee you, you will experience a sense of weariness and tiredness from time to time. There's a story that is recorded for us about King David, I think that helps us to really understand the dangers sometimes that are associated with you being tired or weary. In 2 Samuel chapter 21, from verse 15, just a short story, the Bible says that once again, there was battle between the Philistines and Israel. Now David went down with his men to fight against the Philistines and he became exhausted. And Ishbi Benob, one of the descendants of Rapha, whose bronze spearhead weighed 300 shekels and who was armed with a new sword, said he would kill David. But Abishai, son of Zeruiah, came to David's rescue. He struck the Philistine down and killed him. Then David's men swore to him, saying, Never again will you go out with us to battle so that the lamp of Israel will not be distinguished. Look, David, King David the warrior, this man who fought so many battles, became the greatest king over the nation of Israel at that particular season, that particular time. Uh, David was a visionary. David was a man who was a warrior, fearless in battle, won very, very many battles. But now, uh, at some point, as we, we are told here, he actually became tired because after fighting one battle after the other, winning one battle after the other, obviously he was bound to get tired. And this is not just the physical kind of tiredness that uh, you just lay down and in the morning you're, you're well. I'm talking about a weariness, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually even, and even socially where you just feel exhausted, you feel you just need time out. Now David, kept going on and on until he was so exhausted and the enemy, in fact here we are told, a man by the name of Ishbi Benob and uh, this guy was a, was, a, was a huge guy because we are told his bronze spearhead weighed about 300 shekels. In other words, uh, this man noticing and realizing that David was tired, he, 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 uh, he decided he would kill David. He decided this was the best time to destroy David. And of course, if, they, if he had killed David, it means that they will have, he will have, the, the Philistines will have actually defeated and subdued the nation of Israel. And notice, this Ishbinob does not show up until David is tired. He's a huge guy. And Ish, uh, this Ishbinob reminds us that we have an enemy the enemy of our souls, and his name is Satan. You know, that prince of darkness. He is looking for an opportunity. The Bible says that he goes around looking for whom he may devour. And I can assure you, when I am tired, I am weary, that's a very, very vulnerable position for me to be at. And the enemy knows he can detect when I am tired, because when I'm tired, I don't want to pray. When I'm tired, I don't want to go to church. When I'm tired, I, I don't want to preach. When I'm tired, I just want to be left alone. I, I withdraw from fellowship. I withdraw from other people. I, I just maybe want to sit down and do a whole lot of it. And the enemy knows that. And that's the, the time that he wants to take opportunity to destroy, to kill your dreams to kill you and that's why you'll find there are people sometimes who will end up doing very strange things out of character in a moment of weakness in a moment of exhaustion and the problem is that they were just tired friend i want to encourage you and i want to help you to understand that uh, whereas weariness is a natural thing you and i we must do something we must realize and understand i will get weary so then what do i do first and foremost when you are weary, that's when you need somebody to pray with you. Notice what happened to David. There was this guy, um, uh, the Bible says that Abishai, son of Zeruiah, 
came to David's rescue. He came and actually fought the Philistine on behalf of David. Not because David couldn't fight that Philistine. He could have fought him, but maybe in a better time for him. But, but every one of us needs an Abishai around us. Every one of us needs somebody who can look out for you. Every one of us needs that friend, that confident, somebody I can, I can lean on, on their shoulder, somebody who I know that in those moments, in that moment of vulnerability, they will be there for me. They will, they will make a prayer for me. They will reach out. You know, and that's important to always have somebody like that around you. But then secondly, it's always important, please get some rest. I mean, it is important to rest. I know sometimes resting in itself is work. Because when you think of all the things you have to do and you're thinking, no, I don't have time to rest. But rest is an important thing. It's actually, rest is actually God-ordained. Because it is in those moments of rest that you're able to refresh. It is in those moments of rest that you're able to pray. You're able, you're able to, to be rejuvenated even physically and in every way, even spiritually. Take some rest. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're feeling weary. Please, take some rest. Take a day out. Take a day off. You know, schedule a holiday somewhere. But you need to take rest. Weariness and rest, two sides of the same coin. You need to rest when you feel weary so that you do not find yourself in trouble or becoming a prime target of the enemy. God bless you and I trust that this has been helpful to you and if it has, please share it with somebody who needs to hear it. God bless you. <music>